Even if you didn't know it, many devices you use every day need to lock onto another signal to perform a function. This uses an extremely powerful tool in modern electronics called Phase Locked Loop. Stick around until the end to understand the important components of PLL and a real-world example. Let's begin with a simple block diagram where only a few components are needed. The aim is to try and lock on to a certain frequency by comparing the reference input signal with an output signal. You can understand why we might need a single tone signal at the output by exploring in-depth applications, but this is subject for later. It will be easier to explain the output side and work backwards. A voltage-controlled oscillator, or VCO for short, is a device that can produce a single tone sinusoid at a specific frequency. This can be adjusted by applying different input signals. When this is a part of a feedback loop, we can automatically tune the output signal depending on the input signal so that the device can lock onto any signal. There is more detail that can be explored from a control systems viewpoint. Comment if you want to explore more about control systems. In electronic design, it is always a good idea to include a filter that can block out high frequency noise or more generally, apply signal conditioning techniques. Filters can be applied using an analog circuit or by using digital signal processing techniques. If you consider a signal with noise superposed, the filter will be able to remove the noise and leave the original unaffected signal. This is especially important when sampling to avoid a problem called aliasing. If you want more depth on how to design a filter, please leave a comment and check out our latest playlist. Now, the key piece of technology that ties everything together, the phase detector. This uses a standard XOR logic gate, but there are other more complex circuits that are used as well. The XOR gate is used in the digital PLL implementation only. The output signal can be compared back to the input signal, driving the correct operation. Consider the following waveforms. If you slide one signal past another, the signals will only match when they are in phase. By considering the behavior of the XOR gate, it outputs a zero when in phase and a one when out of phase. The output of the phase detector and filter allows the correct frequency to be produced. As promised, here is an example. Your phone can use TLL for transmitting and receiving signals. It needs to be able to lock onto a signal in a range of different real-world scenarios where noise and signal corruption is prevalent and can cause fluctuations in various signal parameters. In communications, certain channels are allocated a specific frequency range, so a frequency lock is essential. Sometimes, to adhere to regulations that may legally require the use of a certain frequency band, Subscribe and like to support the channel and help us to grow and reach a wider audience.